Hey guys, welcome back to Bronzer TV and it's been a long while since I have uploaded a video, 4 months to be precise and today I am back with another video and this video is going to be about my favorite tweaks on my iPhone 6. So let's get started. So in this video I am going to talk about some of my most favorite tweaks which I use the most on the daily basis. So I use this phone mostly in my car right now as a infotainment device you can say or as a navigation device. So it works quite well as my car has a traditional the same crappy old music systems that came 5 to 10 years ago. So I have customized this iPhone keeping in mind that I have to use this one specifically in the car. So here are some tweaks which help me the most. So to get started with, I have one of the basic tweaks that every jailbroken iPhone must have. So is the tweak known as cylinders. So what cylinder does is, as you can see, it adds some cool animations to your menus. So you have uh, various effects such as uh, now I had alternate speed on, then there is bubble. So yep, this is how it looks. So this tweak is originally uh, derived from a tweak known as Barrel. Barrel is of course paid and you get many more features with Barrel and some cool, uh, some additional effects like these are the basic ones basically. So here is another one. So yeah that's all about this tweak. So the second tweak I'm going to talk about is Home Gesture. So what Home Gesture does is it basically gets all the tweaks, uh, all the iPhone 10 gestures onto your old iOS device which in my case is my iPhone 6 which has a broken home button. If you have seen my video earlier, uh, unfortunately my home button stopped working suddenly so I have no problems right now with this iPhone 10 gesture tweak. It's very fluid to use and um, really effective I would say. It brings over all the gestures like switching apps for example, see as you can see, it switches app but there is a slight transition delay as compared to the new iPhone X because of course this is a very old device. And you get your control center from the top right and um, the traditional notification shade from the left. So this is another tweak which I recommend to most of you guys. So the next tweak I am going to talk about is small Siri. So what small Siri does is, it does not take up your entire page uh, for uh, using Siri for example. You see here, hey Siri. So it just takes up some part of your screen rather than the entire part. So if you want the entire screen you can just swipe up as I did right now. And that's it uh, for that tweak. It's simple and quite basic. And you have of course uh, some options inside which are to position it or either on top or the bottom of the screen. So the next tweak we are going to talk about is Eclipse 10. So what Eclipse 10 does is it enables system wide dark mode. So as you can see in my settings right now I have dark mode enabled and it looks quite good. Especially if you put this on an iPhone 10 or higher devices which have AMOLED screens it just looks quite good I would say. I hope Apple just implements this feature in the next iOS version which is going to be iOS 13. The next tweak is CC Linker. So what CC Linker does is, so you know that there is this option in uh, control center wherein you have you have the toggle switches. So with the help of CC Linker you, what you can do is you can just long press on the icon and it takes you to the settings page. So this is quite effective and it works just like uh, Android. In Android phone it's a really convenient way to get into settings. So the same is available on iPhone via jailbreak. The next week is going to be circle icons. So what circle icon does is, you may have noticed by now that I have circular icons in my settings page. So basically this, all of these icons are now circular because of that tweak. So the next tweak I am going to talk about is stack 11. So my iPhone is currently running on iOS 11.4.1 so I don't have iOS 12 installed on my device uh, because I like 11.4.1 as it is easier to jailbreak and get tweaks for the older versions of iOS. So what Stack 11 does is it gives you iOS 12 style notification shade wherein you can just long press on the notifications to you know just see them and it's basically stack like cards. Uh, this feature is of course is available right now in iOS 12 but uh, since I'm running iOS 11.4.1 this is one of my favorite tweaks to get. The next tweak I'm going to talk about is gyration. So what gyration does is it enables or disables 
system wide rotation so suppose i want my phone to work only in landscape mode i as i said earlier in the car i use this phone as a infotainment device so i can just use it in the landscape mode so it works quite well as you can see uh, along with cylinder it works quite flawlessly i would say you can even uh, select or deselect apps suppose you don't want landscape or portrait mode in certain apps you can just force them over here as well so the next week i'm going to talk about is pencil charging indicator pencil charging indicator is a quite a uh, interesting trick so as you may have seen the animation on ipads uh, wherein you when you charge the devices so the same animation comes over to the iphone so as you can see start start charging and says our fans iphone and it shows the charging percentage so it's a small tweak but then it's quite interesting to see nevertheless the animation is quite fluid and it works flawlessly as well so most of these tweaks are uh, my personal favorite and i use these tweaks uh, on a daily basis because uh, i love them of course and this just makes my iphone experience just so much better So that is all for today guys thanks for watching Bronzer TV make sure you go ahead and follow me on Twitter Instagram and Facebook hit the like button if you like this video and subscribe for more and also hit the bell icon so that you are notified as soon as i upload or release a new video thank you